Radio. And now, Ham Radio Concepts presents another exciting amateur radio video, keeping ham radio operators informed with a thorough look at the new products. Now, here's your host, Eric, KJ4YZI. What's up everybody, Ham Radio Concepts here bringing you a video of the new Bofung DM5R. Well, this is Bofung's first entry into DMR. They decided to use the radio identical to the UV5R Bofung that everybody's familiar with, but they added DMR functionality in here, tier one DMR functionality. So. What I want to do in this video, besides showing you the obvious, that it does look like a UV5R, it does have the same antenna connectors, it does have the same speaker mic connector, it will fit in the same charger. So all the accessories are still compatible. The difference is, aside from having analog, UHF, and VHF at 4 watts, it does do DMR, but only at a tier 1 level at this time. Now, Bofung has told me... Uh, the radio will have an option that you can purchase a tier two upgrade online and download for it. Now, I'm not sure exactly how that works and I'm hoping to have a video of that. But this radio right here comes from radiodity.com. Uh, R-A-D-I-O-D-D-I-T-Y, the link is in the description. You've seen videos from uh, those before for DMR handhelds and others. So what I want to do is real quick explain DMR and how this works and then show you outside right after this portion. I'm going to show you outside with a friend that I also gave one of these to. So we have the identical radio on each side and show the difference between analog and digital. Um, there are three different types of digital modes, three major types. You have your D-Star, your DMR, and your System Fusion. Now, people ask why go digital? Well, the digital in something like this will actually encode and decode your voice into a digitized packet form so that in a fringe area or an area where you have a lot of static, uh, the message is pretty much crystal clear. I mean, it's, there's no hash or static as, as you would analog. Now, the bad thing is when you're on digital, uh, at an extended range, when you can deal with some sort of static from something like this, um, on analog, when you go digital, it drops off completely. But more information can be found online uh, on YouTube or, or, or my uh, channel in the future about the differences between analog and digital. But with a tier one platform inside this, uh, you're basically getting the ability to use this with your standard repeaters for VHF and UHF and simplex, as well as a simplex mode of digital mobile radio. Now with Moto Turbo Tier 2 is what most of the repeaters are running on, they would use Tier 2 protocol which this doesn't have. So uh, not knowing what the, this would do with Tier 2, um, at this time I'm just going to show it on a simplex uh, example. But um, you know, digital mobile radio or DMR, you can talk all over the world through gateways or through repeaters that are linked much like D, uh, D Star and System Fusion are and have worldwide conversations from something like this if it had a tier two uh, option. So uh, in the, the quickest, in the menu, okay, the analog menu has the same functions that you're familiar with with all the other mode uh, models of UV5R and GT3. Nothing really new to learn. When you go into digital though, the quickest way I found to go from analog to digital, menu, if you're an analog, you hit menu, 36, Shows mode, you hit menu, and switch to DMR. Menu to confirm, and the radio resets. Welcome. Now you're in mode. digital mobile, ro uh, digital DMR mode. And then when you go into the menu, there's a couple other features in here. Uh, your slot, um, encode, color code, contact call, and, and messages. Now, I, I guess there's a way to do a message between two of these uh, on digital side. So... Um, that feature does exist. The programming and or menu, or I'm sorry, manual will teach you more about that. I can't get into all that in the video. Now, from my understanding, we'll go down here to B, VFOB, and I'll go back to analog. So I'll hit menu and then 29. And then menu, go back to FM, menu to confirm. So that's the easiest way I found out how to do it. There may be a quick, quick. I mean, you know, menu 36 if you're on analog or menu 29 if you're on digital. It'd be nice if they had a digital button right here, uh, but that's the way they decided to do it unless there's something I don't know. So 
let's do this. Let's go outside and we'll do analog versus digital with uh, Patrick, K-I-4-L-U-Y, a friend of mine who lives not too far. And we'll see the difference in an area where he's staticky on analog and what it sounds like with the, with the hash and the static. And then we'll switch over to digital and see how that digital mode makes that communication so much better at that range or that uh, fringe area. And one more thing I forgot to mention here. It looks as if, if I go on VFO B, I'm on analog, and I go to VFO A, look at the D up there. I'm on digital. So that would mean that I could actually have digital on one and analog on another and have a dual receive. Um, so that way I can keep, uh, keep communication with di digital and analog and not have to, uh, you know, switch back and forth. So let's go outside and give that a shot and check it out. All right, with the DM5R, here's what I'm going to do for the outdoor test. I have KI4LUY, Patrick, on the other end of the radio. He's got the exact same radio. He is about a mile and a half that way. Okay, so we're using the stock antenna and the high power on analog. We're going to see the difference, how it sounds. Then I'm going to switch over to digital and check the difference here. So let's give it a shot here. KI4LU Yankee from KJ4YZI. A little noisy on UHF. Um, high power 443.025. Stock antennas are about a mile and a half away, I'd say. Go ahead. Roger, roger. Yeah, I hear a little bacon in the background, but 100% uh, copy OM. A little noisy, I have to say. It's not the uh, clearest. Let's switch over to DMR, digital, and see what happens. We're going to switch to uh, digital here in a second, Pat, so uh, stand by. All right, part two of the test. We're going to DMR, digital, uh, on the same radio. So I have Patrick on the other end on digital. Let's, uh, let's get in here and give it a shot. KI4LU Yankee from KJ4YZI on digital. Go ahead. Well, D-Star, um, I have some videos on D-Star on YouTube, but D-Star is uh, another mode of, of digital communications. Um, it, it will be kind of the same. It uses a narrower bandwidth from uh, analog, so that's why it's a little more tight sounding as DMR is. Uh, D-Star has a few more functions in it than DMR does or uh, its own set of functions. However, uh, it does have the same digital effect and the digital will produce a better signal at you saw the difference between analog and digital uh, clearer in a digital packet form that makes it sound a lot better. Go ahead. Roger. So the advantage to G-Star uh, opposed to TPR is in packet radio? Over. No, no, it uses packets. It's breaking your voice up into digital packets and assembling them on the other side, more or less. And that's why you get that R2-D2 or the pixelating because it lost a packet. Whereas analog, you would hear static. Uh, digital, you just lose the packet and it drops out. All right, back on analog one more time just to see. Uh, Patrick, KAI4LUI, KJ4YZI, back on analog. Go ahead. have it seeing that's the difference between analog and digital stand by Pat I'll be with you in a second here uh, that's the difference between analog and digital um, my, my goal here was to demonstrate the tier 1 function of the DMR Bofung DM5R uh, in my brand new KJ4YZI ham radio concepts concepts t-shirt with the links on the back I made that myself so it looks authentic you know but uh, thanks for watching. I hope this uh, 
Maybe if I get to it, I'll show the the uh, tier two. They say there's a tier two upgrade. Then they say there's not a tier two upgrade. So let's see if I can get some definitive answers and get that on there, and we'll try it through maybe a hotspot. Seven three from 